Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Crosswatchers, you're always welcome here. Good morning, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys. I thank you and I appreciate you. Um, um guys, we are doing a general reading for Capricorn. Um it is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn, I've already sage prayed over the cards and laid them down for time purposes. Now, um, Capricorn, I, I think your last video was somebody is, either they came back and they was like, you know, I'm serious. I want to reconnect with you. Somebody in your past. But, um... So, what you got for Romance Angels is love yourself first, okay? And then you have codependency. So, somebody is trying to come back. You know, somebody that you knew in the in their past is trying to come back and reconnect with you. But uh, this person is toxic, okay? This person, I'm, I, I mean, you separated from them, okay? Because this person kept you stuck. This person probably had addictions, okay? This person was very manipulative. They like to play mind games with you. And you weren't happy in this situation, so you cut it off, you know? This person knows that you're stable and you're grounded. And they're look, probably looking at you, I don't know, through social media or whatever. You know, they know that, they know that you're doing good. And they're trying to come back here because they want to offer you, you know, this Knight of Cups. They want a commitment. and They want... To reconcile with you, um, if you guys are like some of you guys could be married or maybe separated from this person, but this person wants a, a, another commitment with you. Okay, some of you guys are gonna give this a chance. Some of you guys are, but like I said, this person has motives. You know, they're coming back because they probably broke. I don't know. I don't know what y'all situation is, but. They got motives. They they do. And it's showing that this person is, is going to be very codependent. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. There's, this person is not right. You cut them off because they possibly put you in a third party. They were possibly non-committal at the time. You know, in and out just for sexual purposes. And something, I mean, hey, the tower came in. Universe stepped in. And this person is trying to come back. So, be aware. This is for the third week of December. Be aware. This person is coming. They are coming and they they want what they want. Capricorn. So, right now, you is just loving on yourself. You are not worrying about nobody but you, which is a good thing, you know? You're loving yourself. You are loving yourself at this time. You're getting closer to your spiritual side. You know what I'm saying? You, you're just loving you right now. And that's how you're going to... That's how it's going to be. Yeah, this person wants to come back here and apologize. They want, that, they want that commitment with you. They do. You make this person happy. You, like I said, some of y'all could have been married to this person once upon a time. But they come back. What is going on with um, Capricorn at this time? You guys are moving forward. Determined to move forward with the chariot card being here. What is going on with Capricorn? What are they doing in the third week? You guys are doing a lot of healing. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You're getting your balance. You have a lot of angels. All of your your angels are all around you, Capricorn. You are doing a whole. You are you're hoping and you're wishing and you're praying for things, okay? And you're gonna get them. We got the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck and the Star card. Whatever you're wishing for, it's coming to you. It is coming to you. Look, we got the Devil here, cause this person is coming. They're gonna be. They're very toxic. They want to get you back into their grips okay they want to get you back into their grips pretty much they want to get you 
in that stuck mentality again. But as I say, you working on yourself right now. You are loving you, which is a good thing, Capricorn. Keep on doing that. I don't know, guys. Like I said, some of you guys are going to revisit this person because you love them. This person made you happy once upon a time. You're being very ambitious at this time. You're going for the things that you want. You're being very passionate about something also. Well, this person is going to come in towards you very passionately. The Seven of Swords. Look, this is a liar, a cheater, a thief. Somebody that's very sneaky, does things behind your back. And they probably sneaking away from somebody coming towards you. Could be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. We have Leo, Sag, Aries here on the table. Aquarius. Yeah, universe is going to give you that clarity, though. And, and they're wanting to you to use your intuition and look at all the red flags. Look at all the red flags with this person. Because they're definitely coming. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Things are definitely going to go in your favor. We... Seven of Cups. You guys going to have options here. Some of you, like I said, some of you guys are going to be confused on, you know, whether you should go back with this person or not. Nine of Swords. You're going to be stuck. You're going to be stressed. You're not going to know what to do. Because they're going to come in talking that good stuff to you. Mm-hmm. They're going to come in talking that good stuff to you. See, I said earlier, this person possibly got money issues. They broke. <laughs> they broke, y'all. They broke. They coming in. But it looks like y'all going to cut them off. Y'all going to use y'all intuition. We got the king of swords at the bottom of the deck. You guys are going to are gonna make head over heart decisions. Some of you. Some of you are not going to let this bother you. You're just going to cut them off. You're going to speak truth and you're going to cut it off. Some of you guys might take the person back. I don't know. I don't know. You have your own will. You can do what you want to do. So let's go ahead and clarify the chariot. Get a little bit more information about what's going on with this person. Yeah, some of you guys were married to this person. And they just don't want to let you go. You guys are going to get a message, a very passionate message that's going to make you happy. Like I said, some of you guys are going to take this person back. And some of you guys are going to let it go. Because you are, you don't want this. You don't want to be in this energy any longer. You already know what this guy is about or this female. You already know what they're about. Why is the chariot here for Capricorn? We have the Knight of Swords. They're rushing in towards you. And you're going to be determined to move away from this person. Why is the star card here? This person has a lot of hope, too, in this situation. They have a lot of hope. Yeah, they want the stability with you. The four of wands. They want the stability. And you. they know that you, and they're very passionate about you. And they're going to come at you very passionately, okay? But, like I said, a lot of you guys are in this Queen of Pentacles. You just focus on you and your money, pretty much. And there's possibly, we got two queens here. We got Queen of Wands here on the table twice. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is definitely you. Okay? This person could possibly... You know, dealing with somebody else. Because we do got the Seven of Cups on the table. This person possibly has options. The Four of Cups. This is how you felt. You, wasn't, you was not emotionally fulfilled with this person. The lovers just fell out. So there's another person here. There's a decision here between two people. Or it's maybe it's you. Maybe you are already in a situation. And this person is coming back. You know. But if you're in a new situation, this is a good situation. Don't let this person come in and mess that up for you. 
It looks like some of you guys are in a good situation. Some of you guys are not in a situation. You just love it on yourself, okay? Yeah, we got the two of pentacles. Somebody juggling here. Either you or the person is coming towards you. But like I said, I believe we got the queen of swords here too. Y'all going to cut this person off. I believe you guys are in a good situation right now. And this person is coming back to try and mess it up. But I don't think he's going to let it happen. Why is the queen of wands here? Why is the queen of wands here? Why is the queen of wands here for Capricorn? We have the two of swords. There's a decision here that someone has to make between two people. Like I said, Capricorn, I think it's you having to make a decision. Because you are already in a situation and this person is popping back up. We got the Emperor, but it's in the reverse. It's clarifying the Seven of Swords. This person is so unstable, okay? This person got money issues. This booey. Uh-uh. This person is coming... They got motives. They may just be trying to come in and mess up the th what you got going on. Why is the emperor in the reverse? This person is very shady, y'all. Yeah, y'all going to end this death card. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio. Mm-hmm. But y'all ending this. And we got the queen of swords that just popped out, too. She is not taking no more nothing. Mm-mm. She said, no, that's not what, this is not what we're going to be doing. <laughs> no, you about to hit the door, buddy. Yeah, something is destined to happen here. We got the Page of Pentacles in the reverse clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. This person is not, can't even offer you nothing because they ain't got nothing. And then two other cards that fell down was the Eight of Wands. This person is coming in quickly or going to be communicating with you very quickly with the Seven of Swords again. OMG. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Wheel of Fortune again. Clarifying the Seven of Cups. You got big happy changes coming in, y'all. This is good luck, good fortune, karma, and destiny. And somebody's possibly getting their karma right now. That's why they're trying to come back towards you. Because they know you doing good offering something. They don't have nothing to offer, y'all. Look, the devil, it just popped out. Yeah, you cutting this off. This this person is very toxic. Wow. Why is the nine of swords here? We have the king of swords. We got the king and the queen of swords. You're going to be so detached from this person. Or maybe this is how y'all was when you was in a, in a relationship with this person. You guys are not, you know, pretty cold towards each other, detached. Because somebody was always stressed out. This could have been you, Capricorn. You was This person had you stressed out. You don't even want to communicate with this person, okay? Mm-mm. Ace of Swords. Universe is saying use your intuition because they're going to give you the clarity on this person. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles, yeah. They gonna, they, they want to talk to you. They want this Ten of Cups back with you, this happiness. You made them happy. Like I said, some of you guys were married with this person or had a family with this person. But you're going to take a break from this situation with the Four of Swords and move away from it. Yeah, they want to partner up with you, possibly because of your your money, your funds. I know you got your you got the eight, Three of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles, okay? This person wants to partner up with you because of your money. Because of your money. But you're going to turn your back on this person. They know you're very abundant. Someone knows that you're very abundant, Capricorn. Let's get some... Let's get a card from the Messages of Love, Oracle. And then we'll get some advice from Universe. What, what do we got? The Message of Love, Oracle. A decision... You got to make a decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. What else do we have for Capricorn? What else do we have for Capricorn? One more. One more. Oh, okay. You going to give me two? You got new love coming in, okay? A new love or recommitment to love is developing. 
Like I said, some of y'all are in a good situation. You need to stay in that good situation. Some of you guys are going to recommit with this person. Stability. This person is not stable. It says this relationship can stand the test of time. That's for some of you, not for all of you. Because this person don't have anything. This person don't have anything. Okay, if y'all decide to take them back, go slow. Take the time to get to know each other again, if that's the situation. If they coming in and they ain't just coming in for your money. Some of them are just coming in for your money. Okay? Bottom line. Okay. Capricorn, if this resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.